He awarded the Medal of Honor. John Bassalone, just an incredible Marine. He's looked at as this heroic person. His life and his exploits had been very well documented for us, and so we could follow them as they actually happened. I go to the movies, and who shows up in the newsreel? You, Mom, Pop. I feel a huge responsibility portraying John Bassalone. I had to connect with who Bassalone was, just his, his humanity. John Seda gave this performance that was so natural, you think that we just got this guy out of the army and put him in the film. He just exists as John Bassalone. John Bassalone was from New Jersey. He was just your regular Jersey guy. He was from a very solid Italian family. John was just an average American guy trying to get through the Depression, get settled down. John Bazalone had served in the Army for four years prior to Pearl Harbor. He joined the Marines because he wanted to be with the best who was going to be in first. He was stationed in Manila with the Army, and he pulled some pretty wild liberties in Manila that he got the nickname Manila John Bazalone. He was a guy that knew how to have a fun time, knew how to party. Take your time. Closer. Closer. But when it was time to get it done, he got it done. John Bazelon was a machine gun section leader. Now, this is a job that in that era was basically like being a very skilled foreman of a very technical trade. We were under his instructions as tutelage, as young Marines, learning how to maneuver, fire, and maintain a, a 30 caliber machine gun. Tatum Evanson, set it up. Two short bursts, three to five rounds. Fire! Good. It was fantastic what he knew about the machine gun. He had a great gift and was going to try to use that gift to help win the war. He carried the aura of being the first enlisted Marine to receive the Medal of Honor. He was awarded that decoration at the epic Battle of Guadalcanal. We had uh, a tough time in Guadalcanal. The Marines were isolated there, and they were there a long, miserable time. In October, we were pretty well pinned down. I got the whole Jap army headed your way. Over. Coming right at us. When the Japanese hit us on this particular night, October 24, 25, they hit right in the A Company. To think that these men stood their ground against thousands. It was constant fighting. I saw John twice that night. I kept getting word of John was doing some miraculous things up on his end, fixing machine guns in pitch black dark and him doing it by his fingers. It was just an incredible bloody battle. They were just undermanned, undersupplied. John piled them up around his gun pretty heavy. He learned how heroic these men really were. I'm putting you in for a medal, John. I was acting first sergeant at the time and wrote up the citation. He was sorry in awe that he got the Medal of Honor. This is the highest honor that our country can award a serviceman. John Bassalone was taken out of combat to receive the Congressional Medal of Honor, and then he was rotated into the service of selling war bonds. encouraging and supporting the morale of the nation and something he, he didn't cotton to. He was told, you got to go do this. You got to go get us some money. Selling U.S. war bonds is just as important as what you did on Guadalcanal. Now pack your sea bag, you're going home. They took him to his hometown of Raritan, New Jersey, and 50,000 people turned out for his parade. John was a pretty famous individual. He traveled with movie stars. Big star, Miss Grace! How's that, fellas? The beautiful, Virginia! When do we say, back the attack? Every chance you get. He wasn't about the fame and about the limelight. You'd have never known from his lips that he had a Medal of Honor. He hanging around his neck when they had a parade, and that was it. 
he didn't really like making speeches. That they really appreciate backing the attack and buying these war bonds. He was a Marine. He wasn't a salesman. All I do is dress up and say what they tell me. He never looked at himself as above his men. And uh, so much so that he demanded to go back. The Commandant got him transferred and sent him to Camp Pendleton. We were really close buddies. Almost every weekend we'd catch the train and go to L.A. He didn't have any trouble finding dates or anything. Lena cured all that. I'm sure he didn't expect to find love during all that. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. When John and Lena meet, John is already the poster boy for the war effort in the Pacific. Lena knows who he is, everybody knows who he is. Her reaction to him is, just because you're famous doesn't mean I'm gonna fall all over myself to get near you. You see these stripes? I'm an NCO just like you. I have work to do. Lena was pretty well under control woman. She kind of was in charge. I think <laughs> she was in charge among the women Marines in the kitchen and she was in charge with him. That was part of John's attraction to her. She saw through the surface stuff into who he really was. She felt head over heels in love with like the guy, not the star. And I think that he felt that. One day he called my father and he said, send me $500, I'm gonna get married. The wedding was a short wedding. It wasn't a long affair. It was a fun time and it was a great group. It was John's desire to go back and be with the boys. I never dreamed in my wildest dreams that uh, he and I would be reunited on the beach at Iwo Jima. And I was about three quarters way up the hill when I heard him hollering and coming up behind us. Off the beach! Off He's the beach! kicking people and cussing them, telling them, get off the beach, get going. I'm a Tatum, let's go! We were right on top of each other. Get the f off the beach, you sons of bitches! The island's not very big. He just run all over the place. His directions on the beach was instrumental. Do not leave this position! Come out of hard water! Oh my God! He really was a fighter. There won't be anybody like him. You know, he, he was really a gung-ho Marine. He came from nothing and to greatness. I think that's what we all honor, the guy that didn't have anything that made it. He just went off and became great, became a world hero. You know, a whole country honored him. someday and see no life that would break my heart I have to believe that it's all worthwhile because our cause is just don't miss the HBO miniseries event the Pacific on HBO from Comcast call 1-800-COMCAST to order HBO today